Real quick before the video starts, ladies and gentlemen, if you would, I would ever so much appreciate a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're different, and if you want to check out what I do on a daily basis around this house, make sure you follow me on Snapchat. Snap code should be appearing somewhere on the screen right now. Anyway, let's get into today's video. What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy The Real Philly Phil, and welcome back to The Face That Deserves To Be On Radio. Today, we're going to do one of our world famous Is It Worth It videos, but today we're going to do it on something, once again, we don't have, and that is, of course, the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm right now recording this on, well, I'm not going to tell you when I'm recording this, but it's uh, right at the beginning of March, right after the Switch came out. So basically, we're asking ourselves right now if it's really worth the buy right now in the first month that's out. So based on that, we're gonna base it on our three main components, the design, functionality, and of course, the price. By the way, all of our footage today is brought to us from our friends over at Phone Dog. Link to their YouTube page will be down below. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen, with design. So, I mean, honestly, it's a very cool design because you have a touch screen tablet, basically, sort of design, with these two Joy-Con controllers on the side. It honestly looks pretty damn cool in my mind. Plus, the best part is that it charges with USB Type-C. Something I never thought Nintendo would ever do in their lifetime is use USB Type-C or any type of USB port at all. Usually they used to stay pr proprietary just like with the Nintendo 3DS, the Wii's, all the gaming systems. But let's skip all that and go to number two, functionality. Now here's the second thing about the Switch in my mind. When you have it on handheld mode, the screen is only 720p resolution, which kind of sucks. And then, of course, when you plug it into a television via the dock, it only goes up to 1080p resolution. So, yeah, unfortunately, there's no 4K here. Not yet. Hopefully, they'll release another one with 4K in the near future. Now it's time to get into number three, the price. Now, most likely, you're going to probably spend around $330 um, if you buy it directly from Nintendo. But if you go on to our friends at Amazon, a whole nother story since it's so popular right now you're gonna be paying pretty close to 500 bucks for the entire console i've got one right here it says nintendo switch console gray joy cons it comes with the entire package <laughs> sneaky notifications i better turn that down there we go so basically what comes with the package this kind of sucks with what comes with the package but you get mainly all the key components you of course get the switch the joy con controllers the uh, Switch dock, the Joy-Con grip, the two Joy-Con straps that basically turn it into Wiimotes, an HDMI cord, and a DC out port, which basically charges the whole dock. And that's it. Yeah, no games at all. You have to buy all the games separately. All the games basically are gonna be around 50 bucks, and there's a very limited amount of titles that are out right now. For one thing's for sure, the two titles that probably everyone's gonna want with the Switch right now is 1-2 Switch, which is this whole competitive game. They should have put that standard with all the games, all the consoles basically in my mind. And then of course, the one that everyone's been waiting for, The Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda The Breath of the Wild. I hope I said that right. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, there's only a limited amount of titles. If you want Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that's going to be in late April. And then if you want Super Mario Odyssey, <laughs> if you're a really big Mario fan, you got to wait till later in the year for an unscheduled date, probably towards the fall, which really sucks. So for right now, I'm basing this on right now as the Switch comes out, is it worth it to buy? No, honestly, it really isn't. If I were you, if you are a super crazy Nintendo fan, go buy yourself one right now. But honestly, in my mind, I'm probably going to wait for more titles to come out. Like, for sure I'm going to buy it once um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe comes out. Because honestly, I haven't played Mario Kart in like five years. And I hear the new the Mario Kart 8 is really awesome. <laughs> I mean, but either way, if you're going to buy the console, it's a really good buy. I mean, it's only going to be around 300 bucks if you get lucky. Unless you go buy it online, you're probably going to be spending close to $500, which kind of sucks. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up. My question for you guys today is, what do you think of the Switch? Are you going to go buy one, like, during the launch month? Or are you going to wait for more games to come out like I am? Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're different. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Real Philly Phil, and this has been 
the face that serves me on radio. See you next time. And don't. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the real Philly Phil. I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you want to check out a couple of my most recent uploads, click one of those rectangles on the left. If you want to check out a video YouTube believes you will enjoy, click that rectangle on the bottom right corner. And if you want to subscribe, just simply hit that circular icon on the top right corner. And until next time, keep it real, people. Peace.